Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for the 28th. This is not a private reading. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for you. Um, the energy is definitely a little a wacky, okay? It's crazy. It's heavy, very, very heavy. Um, a feeling of pressure. Yeah, I think there's a feeling of pressure, um, perhaps um, commotion. It seems like there's some sort of commotion or something. I don't know. Everything seems a little off, so I'm not sure what is happening. I decided to use this deck right here. Um, I haven't used it in a long time. I believe it's by Anna Kay. I don't know the name of it but because the box is put away, but something by Anna Kay, I think. Um, but anyway, so let's get started. What do we have for the 28th? What do we got for the 28th? This is a daily reading, the daily vibe. What do we got for the 28th? Two of Wands. Okay, so we have a decision. Somebody is at their point. You know, it's at the time. You know, they're, they're at their time to make a decision. Which way am I going to go? You know, they, they come, this is like, it's like a, what's this, a four-way? Yeah, this is like a four-way, all right? And now you have to choose, you, you, what are you going to do? So, I feel as though somebody is at that point where they have to choose, which way, which way do I want to go now? So, somebody is in the process right now of making a decision, and it is, it's a pretty big one, okay? Um, this person doesn't look very content, um... Knowing that, you know, somebody's probably going to get let down, right? By going in one, you know, some going to have to leave one path behind. So anyway, we definitely have a decision that is about to be made. I think that somebody has been thinking about it and think, this guy looks like he's been thinking for a long time, long and hard about where he's going to go. And it's been really hard to make this decision. So this is definitely a difficult decision. Um, and now you, ha you have to choose. You have to choose. That's all there is to it. Being forced to make a decision. You're at that stoplight. And now you have, which, where are you going? There's somebody behind you and they're honking the horn. Where are you going? That's where we're at. King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles is somebody that is very grounded. This person is very clever. This person is um, holding on to stability by the looks of things. This is something stable. Holding on to something tangible. So they, this person may have been holding on to a situation just for the... Um, assets okay you know and that could be the part of the decision do I keep holding on yeah there's 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 some sort of uh, stability here so this is holding on to something stable you know it's something to have right that's it that is something to have oh my god but you know, now we, we have this empress. This empress is a very, well, this empress, this empress is very, this empress is voluptuous, okay? Take a look at her. She is uh, bountiful, right? She is. She is very comfortable. She is very creative. She's, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. Um... She's a caregiver. She's really comfortable with who she is. She's comfortable in her own skin, put it that way. This person is comfortable in her own skin. She doesn't need anybody to tell her. She's She doesn't care. She doesn't. So we have this empress here who is very happy with where she's at. I mean, look at how comfortable she is. She ain't got nothing to hide. She's letting her, her boobs hang right out. It looks like me. 
<laughs> Sorry. Not. Anyhow, um, that's interesting. Anyway, so this is, uh, she's very seductive. She, I mean, this, this is a very seductive energy. It is. Hmm. Interesting. Hanged man. Ooh, stepping up to the plate. This hanged man is getting unstuck. Making the decision. So yeah, we have some we have this empress in the middle. So we we have this this person that has been stuck in a state of confusion. This person uh, may have been trying to prove a point. Look at the look on this person's face. This guy is stubborn as hell. Stubborn, and, but not happy either. Proving a point, but not doing it happily. No, no. Now she, the empress, this empress energy, this is somebody who knows their value, knows their worth. Definitely knows their worth. I don't care. I love myself. This is self-love. This is Venus energy. Now, this is duality as well. She may have to make a choice between two people. Hmm. Hmm. Because this is, this is duality, the two of swords. So, the Empress usually has options. She may have a choice between two people. King of Pentacles and this hanged man. Could be the same person. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it, it's somebody is going to be presented with making a choice here. This person knows their value, knows their worth, very comfortable with who they are. This person is a creator. This person uh I mean, I can just I just keep I'm so comfortable. I'm so comfortable with my body, myself, with who I am. I don't even care. This person is giving up their stance with the hangman reverse. They're they're no longer going to be so stubborn. It's like they're coming out of that stubbornness. Seeing things differently not now. This person is is seeing something differently. We have this King of Pentacles that has something solid, has something stable. This empress just sitting back. She's just sitting back. She's like, huh? Okay. Two of pentacles. Wow. Juggling. Two. Somebody has a choice between two people. Somebody has a choice between two people. And there's going. Somebody's going to have to make a decision. There's a lot of people watching. <laughs> There is a lot of people watching, isn't there? So, there is. This is a juggler. This is a player. This is somebody that is very flexible and knows how to adapt to changes very well. This person is very skilled. Very skilled. Very skilled with uh, being flexible, you know, and handling multiple situations at one time. This person is a multitasker, whatever. Can handle just about anything. I mean, if you can juggle, if you can juggle, think about juggling, you must be freaking good. It ain't easy to juggle. So somebody is... They may drop something. They may need to drop something. Hmm. What? Two of wands, two of swords, two of cups, two, two, two. Did I say that was two of swords earlier? It doesn't really matter. Anyhow, definitely, definitely, definitely making a decision. Twos are about choices, changes, decisions, partnerships. It's like the truth comes out. The truth, the two of swords reversed, the truth can't be hidden anymore. The truth is about to be told. Somebody is coming out of denial and somebody is, is going to have to make a decision because somebody is going to tell the truth. 
Two, 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 faith and trust. The twos are about balance. Twos are about choices. <laughs> twos are also about being authentic and being yourself. Tools are also a soulmate connection. So I feel as though we have somebody here that is, I mean, the overall energy is that two of wands, okay? That's being at the crossroads where the decision is going, and we definitely have a big decision about to be presented here. Somebody is going to be presented with an opportunity between two paths, two people, two avenues, two situations. you got to make a choice. This day is about choice. And changes and flexibility and truth. Somebody is seeing a situation through a new perspective. No longer stuck. Maybe it's maybe it's the Empress. Maybe the Empress is taking on this. Hey, I'm not stuck anymore. I'm so good. I, I'm not stuck. I'm not hanging on. This person is not hanging on. Somebody's not hanging on. They've let go. have adapted to the changes. Maybe they have adapted and they have again engaged with somebody more stable, more solid, more secure. And it's the Queen of Cups reversed. This is emotional. This person you could be dealing with somebody that's not mastering their emotions very well. This person could um could have withdrawn their heart and used emotional blackmail as a tactic. The Queen of Cups in reverse doesn't listen to her heart or she overreacts. She sees herself as a as a victim. She can get very, very emotional, she or he. This person can get very, very, very emotional to the point where they truly believe that nothing is their fault. They're the victim in every circumstance. That is the energy of this card. But some sort of truth is about to be revealed. This is coming out of denial. Somebody has lost a good friend or they've lost a relationship that made them very happy. And they probably lost that, that relationship or that friendship because they may have saw themselves as a victim. They may have used emotional blackmail. They may have not been able to open their heart fully. They may have not been telling the truth. They may have been blocking their emotions right here. That's what this is. Blocking of emotions. That's what that is. This is blocking of emotions. The two of swords reversed with the queen of cups reversed. No doubt. Somebody was blocking their true feelings. Trying to prove a point. And it's like now they've lost a relationship. A friendship. With somebody that is very beautiful. The Empress is the queen of all queens. Everybody knows it. That's why she's the Empress. She has all the queens in her. She has suffered and she has learned from that suffering. And then she's at a point in her life, she's an older woman. She ain't no spring chicken. Okay, she's not. She's usually in her 40s and above, the mid-40s and above. Because it takes life experience to become the Empress. You become the empress through knowledge, through experience, life is hard, suffering, pain. You become the empress after you have dealt with some serious pain, serious pain, not, and I mean serious pain. Giving birth to something new is painful. And there ain't nobody in this world that can debate that one. So, 
we have this empress here that has grown. I mean, this this person is happy with themselves now. Take a look. She's just like, I don't care what anybody thinks. She seriously does not care what anybody thinks. And because she is so comfortable with herself, other people are drawn to her. So anyway, this is a loss of a relationship. This could be a mother and a father. Okay, it could be a mother and a father. It feels like things coming back around. Okay. I don't know where that's coming from. But something could be coming back around. Somebody may have invested in somebody um, just for... Just to fill a void. Just to fill a void. Just to prove a point to somebody. Just to prove a point or just for materialistic reasons. And it's like now they have lost the relationship because they were being stubborn. That's what this is, too. That is what this is. Anyway, this is the loss of a friendship, the loss of a relationship because of stubbornness. Foolish pride. Unable to master emotions and open their heart and communicate. The Queen of Cups in reverse doesn't communicate. She's, or when she does communicate, she says nasty things. she or he this is this is a male or a female energy here this is somebody who doesn't master their emotions and has blocked them has blocked their 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 feelings their emotions hmm. there's hard feelings here there is some hard feelings this person has hard feelings this person doesn't trust this person was absolutely trying to protect themselves they have a huge barrier around them. Queen of Pentacles reversed. The Queen of Pentacles reversed is very stubborn and selfish and, and uh, suspicious and jealous. Somebody may have been dealing with a possessive, a jealous individual who, you know... didn't trust them didn't trust that this is this is distrust well look at that shit well 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 so yeah somebody did not trust somebody did not trust another person and we have somebody over here that is very 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 upset you can tell by the look on their face this person is very upset with the loss of this relationship, the loss of this friendship, the loss. And and the, the two of the two of pentacles, this is change, being flexible, um bringing balance all these twos twos are about balance bringing balance somebody may want to bring balance back to a situation, but there is a lot of people watching. You see all these people watching? So, I feel like we have somebody here that may want to offer something solid, something stable. Maybe they were worried because of all the people that were watching. Because there's definitely worry here. Definitely worry. Somebody is very, very worried. But here comes the truth. This person is very emotional. Um, has probably not been able to communicate because they... Maybe they saw themselves as a victim. Maybe they were fearful of rejection. They weren't able to communicate because, you know, they were, look at, look at how stubborn, pouting. Somebody was pouting, you know. Uh, <laughs> but I think now, 
I think the pouting is over. I think this person is just like, you know, I just want to be happy. I, I, I just want to be happy. It's like I want this opportunity because the Four of Cups reverse is actually better than upright. It's like I, I want to let go of this stagnation. I want to bring balance back to my life. So I feel like we have somebody that has been pouting in that victim mentality. And it's like now they see the truth, the Two of Swords reverse. It's like now they see the truth about a situation yes this person couldn't trust they you know the empress uh when she, to become the empress she, this person like i said has to experience some serious pain and serious pain will certainly make a person not be able to trust So, now we have good news. This is the page of rods, the page of wands. This is a message. A, a, a positive message is coming. Uh, somebody is about to, to receive a message or an invitation or some sort of exciting offer from somebody. This, this, this is very exciting. This person is looking up here at the Empress. I see you. Something. This is what you see. What I mean. I see you. Now this could be. This is mother. That could be a. I don't know what that is. I was gonna say that could be a child, mother and son. Interesting. So. It feels as. You know, this is interesting. I feel as though somebody is about to, uh, this is like something is about to burst, okay, burst, something is about to burst into your world, for this person especially, she's just sitting back, very, very comfortable, comfortable with who she is, she loves herself, everything is good, and then we have this person that just suddenly sets eyes on her, or whatever, I don't know, this is very sudden. This is a, this is sudden. So I think things are about to change very very quickly. This is a quick quick action. This is good news arriving. This could be a new suitor. This could be a new suitor bursting into your world. Somebody could also be getting pregnant during this time just so you just so you know. Because I happen to really feel that mother, father, child energy. I don't know where it's coming from, but I feel that. Anyhow, I feel as, there's been a loss. There could have been a loss of a child. <sighs> Anyhow, um, we have this stubborn individual that is giving up their stance. Because... Because they have been enlightened or they've changed their perspective. Something has happened that has woken them up. It's like, they, it, that's what it is. They're, they're, that something has happened. And now they're about to do something about it. The Page of Wands reversed. That is doing something about it. This person was getting distracted. They may have gotten distracted by another person that was jealous and possessive and you know, didn't contribute or whatever. The Queen of Pentacles can be a person in your situation that doesn't have any money, doesn't have anything to offer, makes poor decisions, just really doesn't, is lazy, okay? So somebody may have gotten themselves into a situation with a individual that <laughs> didn't do anything for them, and it's like now they see this new, exciting, bountiful opportunity. It's like, wow, wow, this person is it. You know, because this person, obviously, this person uh, knows how to cook. <laughs> so, I mean, come on now. It looks like she does. So, it looks like this person knows how to cook. This person, I mean, the Empress, she does it all. She's the queen of all queens, right? So anyway, I feel as though somebody is about to receive a message from somebody. It could be this person. There may be a little tiny bit of an age gap. Not much. Not much. I don't think it's a big one. I feel like we have somebody that has given up. Okay, they have given up their stance for sure. 
whether it's the empress or it's this hanged man or whoever it is. Maybe both people have. There's definitely an exciting new opera. Something is about to burst, okay? That is what the Page of Wands is. This is a burst of passion that 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 basically, you know, jumps into your life. So this is seeing the Four of Cups reverse. This is seeing an opportunity and going after it. So somebody is about to see an opportunity and go after it. Okay, that's what I got here. I feel like this person, whoever this person is, I think they, they probably have money. They have, you know, they have money. They have money. Or they have, they're stable at least. I don't, I don't know if they're rich, but, you know, they have money. They have a good job. They're hard worker. This person has something solid to offer. Um, this right here, this is decision time. The overall energy of the day is somebody is making a decision to make that offer. To take that next step. So somebody is about to take a step. After waiting and hanging around and wasting time and um, thinking about it forever. They're about to basically uh, show their face. That's what I got. The lot. 